Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter and I'm a developer advocate for Bluemix at IBM. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, accessing the log files of your applications you have deployed to Bluemix. Um, so uh, log files are very important to any developer. Uh, they, they give you insight and information as to what is happening with your application. And in a typical deployment where you might deploy your application to um, you know, a, a VM or something in an infrastructure as a service layer, or maybe something in your own data center, you uh, can access the log files in, in any number of ways, right? Maybe you have SSH access to the machine, so you can SSH into the machine where your application is running and view the log files. Or maybe uh, you set up FTP, so you can uh, transfer the log files from the machine down to your local machine and, and take a look at them that way. With a platform as a service like Bluemix, that's just not possible. You don't have access to the machine, you can't SSH into it, you don't even know where the machine is that's running your application. Um, so today I'd like to show you how to access your log files, kind of the first line of defense when, when, when uh, accessing your log files. Uh, how would you go about doing that? So here I have a very simple uh, Java application. It, um, it, it has uh, a, a um, a endpoint called slash hello uh, that when that endpoint is called uh, this method gets called and it does some logging and also returns the string hi world um, so the logging we have here is very basic right there's a system system dot out and then a couple of logger Java logging messages that log things at different uh, logging levels right this is very typical of not only Java applications but uh, of any application whether it's node or, or Ruby or Python or PHP or whatever it may be um, so how would I view these logs uh, from this application? So I already have the application deployed to Bluemix, uh, and it's already running there, and I want to see the running logs of my application. So I'm gonna, the, 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 the easiest way to view the logs is using the Cloud Foundry uh, command line utility. So from my command line, I can use uh, the command called cflogs. Now there's two options when using the cflogs. Uh, there's an option to tail log files and there's an option to just view a snapshot of the logs. So you say CF logs and the application name, which in my case is called logs demo. And then right now I just want to view the snapshot of my logs, so I'm going to say dash dash recent. And this will go ahead and dump, you know, a very recent snapshot of, of some of the log files, right? It's not going to dump the entire log file, um, um, especially if it's particularly if your application has been running for a long time, and only show you the most recent stuff. So here I can see, you know, just information about my application starting um, and, and information like that. So that's one way, right? But you can see there's only so much information that's made available to me uh, through this method. Uh, and eventually uh, I get, uh, I don't actually get to the top of my log file. I just, it only, it cuts off at a certain point. So, um, the other option is uh, to actually tell your log files. So uh, you can tell your log files by running CF logs. Let me clear this out here, clear the console. So we'll run CF logs, again, specifying the, the name of the application, which is logs demo, dash demo, and just run that. And this will actually tail my log files. So this won't show me any of the history of my logs, but it will actually show me anything that, that happens from this point going forward. So for example, if I go ahead and open my browser and I go to logs demo and hit that slash hello endpoint, we'll see that this returns uh, high world, but we'll also see here that uh, information, login coming from my application will actually uh, show up here, right? So we can see uh, the actual logging messages that in addition to some other stuff here that um, came from my application. So we see um, the system.out message, we see the, the info message, the warning message, and then the, the severe message shows up in, in red because it's severe. Right? Um, now the other cool thing about uh, the CF logs command is that it will actually uh, aggregate all logs from all your applications, uh, all instances of that application together. So when you start scaling out your application horizontally, uh, for example, if I did uh, CF scale logs demo dash I to say how many instances I want. Let's say I want three instances of my application running. Um, this will go ahead and add an additional two instances of my application. Uh, but if I do CF logs 
logs demo now and tail my log files. Then we'll see, we should actually see some information about the, the other two instances starting here, um, as well as um, uh, we'll be able to see any output from those uh, additional instances of my application um, all aggregated together. So as the application start, you'll see, you'll notice something here for paying close attention. You'll see that there's logging here labeled app one, and then there's some logging app two. Right, so the way you can distinguish where these log messages are coming from is by this, this app uh, annotation in the brackets. So you see app one, so this is logging from app one, this is logging from app two, and we see that they're kind of interweaved here. We see some app two messages, app one messages, uh, app two messages, etc. right? So let's try uh, hitting our endpoint again. Actually, we'll hit it, we'll reload this page a couple of times here. And go back here. And here we can see, again, we can see, this is a good example here. We can see uh, our, our logging message coming out from our code. But here you see app one labels, right? And here's our logging messages here from app one. Here we see app zero messages, right? So uh, basically we've hit two different instances of our application and logging is coming from two, two different instances. So this is both a good and a bad thing, right? Because I can, I can see all the logs for all of my instances here um, in one place, but it can be kind of overwhelming because they're all interweaved together and it might be hard to really distinguish what might be happening. So do any further analysis of your logs, you should really uh, use a, a logging service that will help you uh, isolate different portions of your logs. Uh, and that is something we'll talk about in a future video, but I hope you found uh, this video uh, extremely useful as far as how to use uh, the Cloud Foundry command line utility to uh, access the log files of your application. Thanks.